Once upon a time there existed a very intimate and special point in time. If you ever sit and listen, you can hear the elders speak of it in old tales and new nursery rhymes. An earth-shaking moment when an individual became something far greater than oneself. They became part of a collective whole whose power superseded the untold details of death. It was often a sudden subtle occurrence like a greeting, a nod of the head, or a firm handshake. An individual's power, influence, and potential for love was extended and blended into the world's fate. We were students, learning to live for and through one another, finally headed in the right direction. Lest the shameful past return to bear witness, to be as communal as to be, would be our greatest lesson. All at once we were washed in the power to break barriers, and baptized in a love born of hate. Where one was weak, the other was strong, and this blessed union made the collective great. This worked in accordance with what is right, just like the wind, the rain, and the sun. We press this example forward and for the first time begin to have visions of the whole world as one. Somehow we forgot that the devil doesn't sleep while he watched us prosper and reformulated his plan. His new calculations embodied the forms of lust and frustration as he quietly separated woman from man. The powerful point of contact had been broken from within and only the truly faithful were able to see. It seems that even our technological advance only serves to enhance the probability that strangers never meet. Families are again broken, like in slavery times. The weak now find themselves forgotten and left behind. Their angry whip proves not to be the cause this time. Instead, is rampant jealousy, foolish pride, and other such illness of the mind. Our once strong communities are now filled with strange neighbors who don't even know each other's names. It takes a lot less conscience to rob a stranger, and it's that much harder to find the ones who are to blame. The son that is raised without his father will soon grow to find that his learning is lacking and incomplete. The earth turns and queens soon learn of this flaw when their mighty king would rather run in the streets. Now the beautiful kids grow angry and confused, locate daddy's problem solver and it's off with them to school. The sign of the times are bipolar and ADHD when it used to be that mama didn't raise no fools. It gets hard to understand how we can expect to save a man in Iraq or Iran while our country slips slowly off the map. Gaze now through the agony and sheer hopelessness of facts to see how desperately we need to rediscover our point of contact.